It's Marcus K. Dowling, the Nashville Country Music Report of Tennessee, and I'm here at the uh, night two of the 51st annual Country Music Association Fest, and I'm here with somebody who knows something about being on that stage, John Party. What's going on, man? Ready to rock. Yeah, so talk to me about being at a place in your career where I feel like you're a catalog artist now. You can look at that, you know, your albums, and you have like at least, you know, five, ten songs there that people know as a part of the modern country catalog. Yeah, definitely. But I want more. Yeah. So that's what I'm working on. Oh, no, by all means. Absolutely. <laughs> so talk to me as well about the, the touring aspect of your career right now. Because you've been out recently with some folks and, you know, you've watched them have moments and you're having moments too. So just talk to me about the excitement of seeing, you know, like the crowd along with the people on stage having this like beautiful moment with the genre. Man, I mean, the, the touring is just fun and the crowd showing up and singing along worldwide yeah you can say that now yes um, and you know i love a good country festival we got some shows with morgan this year we got some shows with my friend kane and like stepping out and just kind of getting there and just mixing up with some friends is real fun then you know we got my tour with megan patrick and larry fleet and priscilla block coming up and I don't know. It's just, there's a lot of tour and it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. So I was just walking up uh, Lower Broad earlier today and um, I heard like three of your songs in the sets now. There's people like young artists are coming up and these are songs that they have to know. It's like Tequila Little Time. You know. Tequila Little Time made it? Yeah. What? <laughs> Jay, Jay made, Jay made right there. Yeah, so but talk to me about that because you're a guy, you know, like to go from playing Tulsa Time. Yeah, those time great. to the place where you know now you have artists who are coming up and saying after no John Party music if I want to make it in this town. Hell yeah! Well, at least it's fun, <laughs> upbeat, always having to get a good time. Um, that thanks for telling me that. Uh, no, you're welcome. It's not like I get to walk around downtown that much. Yeah, but um, it's uh, it's good. I mean, and, you know, you work really hard to to pave your own way, and you never know what a song, especially somebody covered covering my song or singing a song like they would sing it. Right. Helps them out, you know, it paves their way too. Just like singing Tulsa Time or right. like you know, Friends in Low Places, which exactly. I never want to sing again. <laughs> ever. It is so burnt out, but I love the song. But like, you know, you just never know. It, like, it, it shows, it just helps artists. Exactly. So talk to me about being a personality. You have a TV special tonight. You have a charisma about you that I think people are taking to, and it's starting to grow for you in that realm. Talk to me about that. Well, you know, I'm just trying to look as good as Riley Green these days. <laughs> that's all I can do. We all are. I think that's the thing. Just but, doing um, a lot more sit-ups. Exactly. So, final question, uh, real quick about the family and just like growing that and becoming, you know, father, husband, also an artist. Talk to me about the balance of time and how that's going for you. Well, first of all, Summer, my wife, is a super mom, and we have a really good kid, even though she's, you know, a little over a year but she's really smart and she's fun and um, we have great nannies shout out to the Megan and Autumn um, who help us be able to do the artist stuff yeah. and, but uh, it's just special every time I'm home every time I get to hang out with the family it's special because like I was gone for 24 days on, on, on a world tour you know so like the time at home is it becomes more and more of a special thing and then everybody's like man Live every moment you got because it flies by, you know, so I don't forget that either. So that's I think that's the difference. It's slowing down time at home in a fast paced world. Final question. Uh, your favorite Bakersfield song right now? Because I feel like you would have one all the time. It's kind of like, you know, it changes. But I would think that you have one. It's in the catalog right now. It's a thing to listen to. I mean, I, fl I do. I do fluctuate on a lot of Merle Haggard songs. Okay. So what, like, what's it right now? Oh man, I don't know. You putting down on me. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough one. But it's definitely Merle right now. That's good. He's he's just such a, a songwriter and his catalog will live forever. Absolutely. Well, it's always a pleasure. It's Marcus K. Dung, the Nashville Country Music Report. Yeah. Tennessean, here with John Party at uh, night two of CMA Fest.